Hi Smart Traders, it's Lucas from Crunchyroll. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profits. Today, you are going to create your first algorithmic trading strategy. Let's get started. Today, we are going to create a trading algorithm using machine learning. I will resume the process in 30 seconds for the new in the channel. We will import some stock prices, define our features and targets, create a machine learning algorithm and use it to create an algorithmic trading strategy. So, the first thing to do is to import the data. For our example, the data will come from Yahoo Finance but it's better to take the data directly from your broker for a real project. If you don't know how to do it, check this video. Before that, we need to import some libraries like NumPy, Pandas, etc. This code here is just to plot the matplotlib graph in a dark mode. Then, we import data using Y-Finance. So, we need to import Google, Amazon, and Tesla stock price. And we take only the variations of these assets as features for the model. Now, we have a problem. Indeed, I want to predict Google's return, but I can do it using the Amazon, Google, and Tesla's return of the same day. Why? Because if I have the return of Amazon, for example, for the March 1st, it means that I have also had the return of Google for March 1st. So we predict the past using the future. To avoid to have this problem, we need to have a shift in the data. First, I extract the target, Google stock return, because obviously we don't have to shift this one. And then take the Amazon, Google and Tesla's return to shift it. Finally, we have two days features, returns of Amazon, Google and Tesla, and we will use them to predict the target, which is tomorrow's Google return. Then, we need to define our train and test sets. The train set to train the model and the test set to backtest the model. So, we take 80% of the data for the train set and 20% for the test set. Now, we have the features and target for the train and test set. We need to standardize the features. It is necessary when you use a super vector machine because it works with a geometrical process. Then, we use the SVR class from scikit-learn to train a super vector regressor. When we have a trained model, we can make some predictions. The training strategy will be to take the predicted returns for Google and to take a buy order if the predicted return is positive and a sell order if the predicted return is negative. And to compute the strategy return properly, we need to multiply the returns of Google, the target, by the position shifted by one row. Indeed, when we make the prediction, we will be in a position tomorrow and not today because we work with the closing price. So it's essential to put this shift, not to predict the past using the future. And then we use the cumulative sum to plot our results. I have rushed the code a little bit, but for those interested in applying machine learning for algorithmic trading on MetaTrader 5 using Python, step by step, with all code detail, you can check my course on Udemy in the description of this video. Now, let's analyze a little bit how we can improve this algorithm. 
First, we can create some new features like technical indicator to help our algorithm to understand the target's behavior. It's very essential because the most important when we create an algorithmic trading using machine learning is the data and the features. Second, we can try to add different time frames to help our algorithm to understand the behavior of the target. We can combine some algorithm, then you can include the cost as features to give the possibility to the algorithm to take into account the cost and to tell you to enter in position or not. Make a complete backtest by yourself or in a specialized platform. And you, how do you think that we can improve this algorithm? Tell me in the comments, it's very instructive for the community.